Okay, Walter, this is going to be a very short video. But, and uh, so this is like a stepping stone. Uh, we got some of the parts together, um, although the star wheel's not in, and there's a bunch of other little things that need to be taken care of. But um, basically, we got the carriage mounted on the cross slide. We got the bridge units sort of temporarily fixed. The dowels need to be cut off. You can see them sticking up there, but uh, the uh, it's got a bunch of oil on it right now. I, I realized I needed to oil it up to get it moving. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick demo here. So I hooked the electric drill up to it, and um, so you know I need to put a crank on it, but there's no crank right now. So and I don't know if the drill is exactly sitting on the table. But it moves, it, it moves, it's tight, you know, it's stiff, but it moves nicely. I, I don't, I think, I think uh, it's in the ballpark. Let me run it, let me run it slow, if I can. I can only can run it so slow. So it looks like my Acme nuts are working okay. Like I say, I know everything is tight. But actually, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, once the star wheel's in and the ram, I'm pretty sure all that will move the carriage without any problem. Definitely not sloppy, so. I suppose I could lap it in more. I did some, I lapped the, the two bridge nuts, uh, I put the lead screw in the lathe and lapped those a little bit because I had a, I had a little defect in the lead screw, that's why I did that. <coughs> Although it didn't help much, but it helped a little bit. So that's kind of it. I guess I need to build a crank handle. Maybe that should be the next step. Let me get it centered up. Okay, that's it. That's all I was going to show you. So, I'm happy with it. I'm pleased. I think it's going along okay. Um, let me see if let me let me spin it around here if I can. Well, it's it's awful heavy. It's kind of hard for me to do. Let me see. Maybe I can. Let's see how that it's got a lot of oil on it. I need to wipe some of the oil off, but I needed to put some oil on the the ways and stuff to get it to, to that loosens it up a lot. It, it you know, running, it can't, it, it didn't run very good dry, so. Anyway, that's, uh, let's see now. Let me move it, let me see what it looks like in the camera. Okay, let's, let's move the camera over a little bit. Okay, let's run it in that, from this view. I could run right down to the edge, I guess. I could probably run it further than that. Actually. I can't see the other end, but I don't know how far I'm going. Anyway, that's that's a view from this perspective. Well, let's see here. I guess that's about all I can show you right now. Uh, so that's where it's at. Uh, I'm not sure what the next step is. Maybe pull the lead screw out and cut the slot for the star wheel, which I haven't done. And uh, <clears throat> I build, need to build a crank for it. But I got some work to do 
on this portion before I start on the ram. So the ram's all done, of course, but it's, uh, you know, still some touch-up work <laughs> to get it all working. Anyway, um, so I'll call off now. I'll post this video and send it to you so you can see what's going on anyway. By the way, I noticed your your nuts arriving today, so that's a big hallelujah, finally, you know. It looks like McMaster is uh, a bulletproof on the shipping. Just a couple days and it's from all the way from wherever they ship it from in the U.S. to your location in Canada, so happy with that. Anyway, I'll post this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.